Reports coming from the United Kingdom suggest that the Rish Sunak administration is grappling with internal divisions over its endorsement of Emerson Umningagwa's military coup that ousted Zimbabwe's long-standing leader, Robert Mugabe. Mugabe was removed by the military in November 2017, accusing his deputy, Umningagwa, of conspiring against him. According to Grace Mugabe, the late president's wife, Umningagwa had a history of plotting against Mugabe dating back to 1980. In 2004, Umingagwa, in collaboration with the former information minister, Jonathan Moyo, initiated an anti-Mugabe campaign later to be known as the Chilacho Declaration. Expressing his desire to become ZANU-PF's first secretary, challenging Mugabe's continued leadership. On his social media platforms, a UK-based Zimbabwean journalist, Stanley Quinda highlighted an excerpt from former British Africa Minister Rory Stewart's book, Politics on the Edge, revealing the UK government's miscalculation in trusting Mingagwa as a reformist. Quinda paraphrased Stewart's account of a crisis meeting at King Charles Street, where the former UK ambassador to Zimbabwe, Catriona Lang, suggested embracing Mingagwa without imposing conditions. Stewart proposed three conditions fair elections for the opposition, cleaning up the voters' role, granting Zimbabwean expatriates the right to vote. The ambassador dismissed these conditions, asserting that the opposition couldn't win elections and Umningagwa would not allow expatriates to vote. Commenting on British regrets, Garikai Chanza, a Rhodes University Journalism PhD fellow, criticized the intelligence lapse at 10 Downing Street. Chanza argued that the British underestimated ZANU-PF, perceiving it solely as Mugabe's project. The assumption that Umingagwa would inherit Mugabe's authority proved wrong. They needed to realize that ZANU-PF isn't just one person but a militarized, institutionalized mafia organization, a misunderstanding also shared by the opposition since it began in 1999, he noted. Chanza said the British wrongly believed Mingagwa would dismantle the military infrastructure and make decisions favoring them. ZANU-PF is controlled by a clique benefiting from actions like land seizures and economic exploitation. This organized group fiercely protects its acquired wealth. They would never allow someone they don't trust to lead the country, fearing the loss of their ill-gotten properties and potential imprisonment. The junta removed Mugabe because the elderly leader was undermining their influence, with many facing the threat of imprisonment. It's reassuring that the British have now understood the true nature of ZANU-PF. Chanza further noted. However, warnings were given at the start of the coup month about the grave mistake of supporting Mingagwa, 